Five new breakthroughs to tell you about this morning in research and treatments for Alzheimer's. Studies are showing that certain medications can keep symptoms at bay before they even start. Yeah, this is promising, but more needs to be done, especially when it comes to diagnosis and treatment in the African-American community. The 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us live in the studio with more on the disparity and why doctors say more needs to be done. Good morning, Jenny. Yeah, good morning, Jameson and Kaylin. That new research showing that despite represent, representing 13% of the U.S. population, African Americans are twice as likely as white Americans to develop Alzheimer's disease. And it's because of that disparity that researchers are encouraging more people from that community to take part in research projects. Doctors say there can be other factors that contribute to Alzheimer's. And while there is no cure, clinical trials like the AHEAD study have found new treatment options for everyone. What our hope is through studies like the AHEAD study is that we can go even earlier before individuals begin to witness or experience these signs. We want to be able to get individuals to a place where they may never experience those by tackling the disease at much earlier stages. And this study is open to anyone ages 55 to 80 that have not been diagnosed with Alzheimer's or dementia because they want to be able to catch these symptoms before they start. And there are things that you can do right now to help prevent it. You can do uh, start eating right, get exercise, and of course, get some good sleep. Doctors also say that you should get regular checkups to keep other health conditions like high blood mm -hmm. pressure or even diabetes under control. Yeah, I've heard this study going on in several places here in the Bay Area, but is there one specific place that they can go to take part in this study? Absolutely. It is at USF Health. It's right. the Bird Alzheimer's yeah. Institute. And we were talking earlier, yes. you've done several yes. stories there. It's doing really great stuff out there. Some, some yeah. amazing progress being made there. So it's close to home. And if you're chosen for the study, it would be someplace that you'd be able to go to right up by USF in yeah. Tampa. And, and, and doing part of this study as well, the good thing about it is all these costs that normally aren't picked up by health insurance right now are all free. Which is so important. Yeah. If you want more information, you can, of course, go to our website. We have a link to yeah. the study and all the locations and how to find out if you're eligible. Plus, they also have some good information about mm -hmm. keeping your brain healthy and signs and symptoms that you might need to watch out for. Yeah. All right. Jenny Dean, with that good information. All right. Thank you, Jenny. Caitlin?